Hi everyone, I'm Çağatay Dursun. I'm PhD candidate at Market University Medical College of Wisconsin Joint Biomedical Engineering Department. I'll talk about gene embeddings of complex network and hypertension disease gene classification. Diseases such as heart disease, cancer, cause nearly 75% of the deaths in US. Such complex diseases involve multiple genes and their interactions with environment. Identification of gene disease relationship enables better understanding of disease mechanisms for better preventive and treatment methods. Network analysis provides a useful representation of the network structure of the molecular basis of complex traits. It facilitates the integrative analysis of multi-omics data sets, and this integrative analysis could help us identify disease-related genes. However, there are more challenges to address. There might be patterns of missing data across different data sets that cannot be avoided by integrating multiple data sets. And usually data sets are not specific for a particular complex trait in question, such as protein-protein interaction. Node embedding algorithms are promising to address those challenges by allowing statistical learning algorithms to be applied to networks by generating node features based on the network structure, but these existing algorithms can't utilize the multi-layered heterogeneous network structures. Therefore, we aim to develop an integrative node embedding algorithm to classify disease genes, which can utilize multi-layered complex network structure of genes and phenotypes. At the end, we can apply a supervised learning algorithm to the gene embeddings to predict disease-related genes. To this end, we developed Gecko to generate the gene embeddings of a complex network of genes and phenotypes. Gecko first generates the undirected weighted network using multiple gene and phenotype layers. Then, by running random walk with restart for each node in the network, it obtains the gene 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 phenotype and phenotype gene ranks from steady state distribution of random walk scores. Gene gene neighborhood represents ranks of genes where random walk starts from a gene node. Gene phenotype neighborhood represents ranks of phenotypes where random walk starts from a gene node. Phenotype gene neighborhood represents ranks of genes where random walk starts from a phenotype node in the network. Thirdly, Gecko takes the top n of those ranks and learns the latent representation of nodes using the skip gram algorithm. Thus, Gecko generates gene embeddings of different neighborhood spaces. The learned gene embeddings of different spaces then are concatenated and used for disease gene classification using a supervised classification algorithm. Many scripts of Gecko can be accessed at BioArchive for details and the code for Gecko is available on this GitHub link. To evaluate the performance of Gecko, we conducted a hypertension disease-related gene classification analysis using rat organism data. We created multiplex gene network using publicly available data sets. We used an expression data set from Gene Expression Omnibus. We downloaded the string protein-protein interaction data set of rat for PPI layer. And we calculated ontology-based semantic similarity between genes using pathway annotations at rat genome database. We created multiplex red strain similarity network using annotation data at RGD. We generated disease ontology and mammalian phenotype ontology based strain similarity layers. For these two layers, we determined the list of hypertension related disease ontology and mammalian phenotype ontology terms to make them context specific. And we generated quantitative phenotype measurements based strain similarity using systolic blood pressure, heart rate, and weight measurements of strains at RGD. Finally, we connected gene and phenotype multiplex networks using MP annotations of genes and strains at RGD. We evaluated the performance of Gecko by comparing it to the state-of-the-art node embedding methods. We used the rat gene disease annotations at rat genome database to determine the set of ground truth hypertension disease-related rat genes. Because of the stochastic nature of the algorithms, we ran all of them 10 times to generate gene embeddings, and we used generalized linear model for classification. Gecko outperformed the second best performing algorithm consistently by about 9% margins. 
We also evaluated the quality of novel geckos predictions of hypertension genes by performing a literature-based evaluation of new predictions. We selected the top 20 false positive predictions of gecko based on the prediction probability. Those top 20 genes were not annotated for hypertension-related disease at RGD and they weren't included in our ground truth gene set. We found that 18 of Gecko's top predictions have published evidence, in most cases not merely expression-based, that genes encode hypertension-related proteins. In this study, we developed a gene embedding tool called Gecko that can utilize multiplex heterogeneous networks of genes and phenotypes. It uses stationary node ranks of random walk as proximity measure of nodes separates the node ranks into different neighborhood spaces and then applies the skip gram algorithm to generate the node embeddings. It consistently outperformed the existing methods for disease gene classification task and the evidences found for the 18 out of the top 20 novel gene predictions show the power and utility of Gecko's performance. I would like to thank to my advisors and comrade my advisor Mary Shumayama who suddenly passed away on February 18, 2020, Rat Genome Database Team and Bozda Lab members. Also, we would like to thank to our founders. Thanks for listening. Manuscript for Gecko can be accessed at Biarchive and the code is available on this GitHub link.